I have a question for you. When you wake up in the morning and you look yourself in the mirror, is the person looking back at you the person you want to be? Take a good hard look. And if it's no, then my next question is, what are you doing about it? Stop going through life just biding your time. Stop making excuses and blaming others for your mistakes. A challenge cannot be a challenge without the possibility of failure. Don't let fear control your life. Find your strength from within and start now. What's going on YouTube? It's Wes Fleer here, Mr. Fleer Fitness, um, coming at you for another vlog here. Uh, today is Thursday. Um, I have to work today, so I'm going to get a quick uh, hour and a half workout in here. So um, it's back day today, so we're doing deadlifts. I'm uh, going to start with a little warm up. Going to get on the step mill a little bit. Uh, I've got my, uh, you know, my pre workout here ready to go. So we're going to get this day started, go to the gym. Uh, come back, make some lunch, and then we gotta we gotta go to work because you know most of us work, you know, eight hours a day. So we gotta get that done too. So I'm showing you guys how to get this stuff in on time. I woke up around like 9:30 today, so we're gonna get this done and get this workout in, and then uh, I'm gonna show you uh, all my stuff that I'm doing, and I'll go back and do a little commentary on it. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. All right, have a great day. Peace. How's it going, YouTube? It's your boy, Wes Fleer, a.k.a. Mr. Fleer Fitness, um, coming to you for another commentary. Uh, this week, actually today, um, is back workout day, so we're going to do some deadlifts here. i um, going to start off with a couple warm-up sets, and then we'll get into my working sets. i um, going to explain to you here my form, so my feet, you might not be able to see them. Um, they're at shoulder width. Um, the bar is about shoulder width too, where I'm holding my hands. I'm doing a double over, so palms down grip um, on both sides there. I'm going to bring the weight out. My butt is going to be uh, tucked back a little bit, so I'm going to squeeze my hamstrings. And also, I'm going to try and squeeze the bar like I'm twisting the bar in half to activate my back and my upper shoulders and everything. Make sure my shoulders are nice and down and back there. And then I'm going to ease the weight down until my back can go as far as it can go flexibility wise. And you don't want your back to round. That's the most important thing when you're doing deadlifts. You don't want your back to round because that you can seriously throw your back out. Um, definitely we want to, on the way up, suck in a nice breath of air. Go down, keep your core tight and your back tight and your glutes and your hamstrings tight. I know it may seem a lot, but once you get the hang of it, um, with the lighter weights it gets easier and one thing that people actually don't realize is that um, when you're performing a deadlift um, you're basically using half your back and somewhat of um, your legs as well so you will feel it in your legs um, I thought I would feel it more in my back but um, if you use your hamstrings and everything properly you'll feel it more in your legs too as well which is good because um, eventually your flexibility will increase in your hip flexors um, and being able to lower that bar down. Now as you can see here when I'm performing these uh, deadlifts that the, the travel of the bar is going straight down um, pretty much down my thighs and then down past my shins. Last set, best set, here we go.
So this next exercise here is called a rear delt fly on the pec deck machine. You sit with your chest up against. Um, I'm not actually gripping the handles. I'm just pushing out to the sides. So when I push out the weight, I'm going to squeeze my back of my rear delts and my traps. Get a nice squeeze. And then on the way back, I try and uh, let it the whole way out so it gets a stretch. And then bring it back out for a nice squeeze to really fire up those traps and those uh, rear delts there. So another exercise I like to uh, superset the rear delt flies with is uh, is plate shrugs here. So basically you're going to stand straight up. Um, you're going to keep your shoulders nice and back and down. You're going to retract your shoulders back and squeeze the weight up for a good couple seconds. Then let your whole shoulders relax the weight the whole way down to ensure you get that nice stretch. And then right back up for a nice big squeeze there. So most people will recognize this next exercise. Um, it's the lat pull down. Uh, basically the reverse way of doing a pull up. Um, this exercise is really good at isolating the lats. Um, my shoulders are going to be really nice and low. You don't want to shrug at the top. Um, basically try and think about pushing down with your elbows. That's the key here for this exercise. Um, go at a nice steady pace here. Make sure you squeeze at the bottom and then get a nice uh, good stretch at the top. Definitely a nice big lat builder there to get some nice width and uh, wideness on your back there. And you guessed it right now, I'm going to show you the next one, which is uh, some pull-ups. Um, if it's too heavy or too much to do uh, body weight, you can go on an assisted uh, pull-up machine, which is great. Pull-ups are probably the number one exercise to build your back, get your lats nice and wide, give you that width. Um, great exercises, pull-ups, you can do them anywhere. Definitely great for the back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be the last couple bicep movements here of the workout video. Um, rule of thumb is just keep your elbows nice and tight to your body. Um, don't heave the weight. Don't use your shoulders. Um, try and keep your wrist nice and straight so you don't screw up your wrist ligaments or anything like that. Um, anytime you have your elbows closer to the body, it's going to involve um, your bicep peak a lot more and working on that height of the bicep. And anytime you're uh, elbows are farther away it's going to work on more of the meat of your bicep there um, so that's pretty much it different ways you can hit your biceps all pretty much the same you know goals to build your arms up um, I hope you enjoyed this video um, if you have any questions um, or comments uh, hit me up on my youtube channel here um, I hope give this thumb uh, this video a thumbs up like it subscribe to it um, tell your friends and share it to them alright so, uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, have a great day, all right?